I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am Prophet Mikadialu, the first minister of divine prophetic ministry worldwide. I have received a mandate from the Lord through his angel, to proclaim to the people of Nigeria what will soon happen again concerning the Fulani cattle herdsman crisis in the country. I received this divine revelation during my intercessory fasting and prayers for the nation in mine own humble way. The Lord opened my eyes, and caused me to see a brilliant blinding light descended into my prayer room at the midnight prayer. He touched me on my shoulder, and caused me to hear his voice inside my head. I am at this point, urging every Nigerian, to wake up and pray to God for forgiveness and mercy. We have all sinned and come short of God's glory. It is sad to hear that if care is not taken, we are only beginning to experience only a tip of the iceberg of what will soon come upon every state in Nigeria. The Lord says he is still angry against this nation and that there will be no solution found unless the people correct themselves and forsake their sins which I have been fearfully instructed to broadcast. Alas! Many more souls will depart. Lord have mercy upon us. I want you who listen to me now to take this message seriously, for the word of God says that blessed are those who hear the word of God and do it. Luke 11:28. Please, spread this message to friends and loved ones until it reaches the end of the earth so that all Nigerians can work together to find a lasting panacea to this crisis. The Lord revealed to me that the cause of this Fulani cattle herdsman killings is neither political or religious, even though it now the face of the demon wearing the garment of a great religious and political leader. Let us all be in Holy Spirit mood. The Lord has spoken to me, and made me to know that it is the sinful, flamboyant, unchristian lifestyle of religious leaders in Nigeria brought about all these bloodshed. The angel of the Lord went ahead and revealed to me that when a Christian begins to live his life carelessly like a prodigal son, he is releasing demons from the pit of hell where they were chained. As a Christian, if you give your life to holiness, and as you continue to deprive your body of the pleasures of sin and canal lifestyle, you are binding and chaining the demons. Little do many know that the righteous suffering of their bodies is equated to the blood of Jesus Christ. But when you decide to burst loose and mingle with sin, you have opened up the great door of hell, and you must be visited by those occupants of hell. This is what the Lord asks Christians in Nigeria to do. He wants Christians in Nigeria to set up a powerful and interdenominational body, which will be vexed with the power to unite, monitor and censor the activities of all Christian NGOs in Nigeria. This body, the Lord says must accept all Christian doctrines based on Bible testimonies. The Lord says that all Christian clergy's expensive lifestyle must be checked and sanctioned. God's riches are meant to be spent on the poor, and not to be used as tools for oppressions. This the Lord's message which he has given me to deliver to all Nigerians. I have presented it. The burden is off my neck. I have passed it on to you. It's up to you to pass it on to others. Until it reaches the core of the solution to our problems. May the Lord God Yahweh spell through his son Yesh Wilhamesh I arch bless you as you pass on this message. I rest my case here now. Thank you.